Hello and welcome to the Richard Attenborough Film Awards 2012, coming to you live from London's West End. I'm James King. And I'm Hilary Oliver. And wherever you are, do stay with us as we reveal all of this year's winners 10 days before the BAFTAs take place. Now, what's unique about the Richard Attenborough Film Awards? Can we call them the Raffers? I think we can, I think can't we? Can. we? Yeah. yeah. What's unique about the Raffers is that these are the UK's regional film awards okay so there are two sets of categories uh, one is for regional film critics based all around the UK and the other is decided by public votes so the whole awards of course are dedicated to Richard Attenborough Lord Attenborough one of the greatest champions of the British film industry right let's get started we're going to start off with the critics categories there are six of these all voted for by film journalists and editors in regional media so that's TV and radio stations, local newspapers and websites, the whole lot. Our first award of the afternoon is for Actor of the Year, as voted for by the regional critics. Michael Fassbender for Shame. Right, the next award from the regional critics is for Actress of the Year. Meryl Streep for The Iron Lady. I have a statement from Meryl, um, which I'll happily read out, if I may. Um, I'm honoured to receive this award, which comes from the heart of the UK and its regional press, an entity that remembers Margaret Thatcher well and I'm sure aim aimed a keen lens at this portrayal. The regional critics have an award for Rising Star of the Year. Tom Hiddleston for War Horse and uh, amongst others. The fourth award is for Filmmaker of the Year, recognising outstanding work by a director. Michelle Hasnavicius for The Artist. The last of our Regional Critics Awards is for Screenwriter of the Year. Bridget O'Connor and Peter Strawn for Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. It's, it's a great, great honour, especially because, you know, it's voted for by so many critics from all over the country, so it's a, it's a lovely thing. So the, the first public vote award for Animated Film of the Year. Arthur Christmas. An animated movie is a giant labour of love. It takes hundreds of people many years to make it. But I think the thing that has made us happiest as a team is to know that people went to the cinema and had a really happy time watching our film. So we're delighted. Next up uh, in the public vote categories are, is the award for Family Film of the Year. The Adventures of Tintin, The Secret of the Unicorn. Our next award is for British Film Star of the Year. Gary Oldman. British Film of the Year, and once again, the viewers voted for the brilliant Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. So once again, congratulations. The next award to be announced right here, right now, Film Star of the Year. Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Our penultimate award is for Film Blog Site of the Year. Cineview. Our final public vote award looks forward to the year ahead and the category is the most anticipated movie of 2012. Dark Knight Rises. Wow. That is a wrap. Thank you very much for watching. From Hillary and me, it's goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.